Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew again. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install the new Nokia Z Launcher on your HTC One. Now this is gonna work with any Android device out there, but it is optimized for a few of them, like the HTC One, the Galaxy S line of phones, and the Nexus 5. It's pretty straightforward, all you have to do is download the APK and install it, but if you are rooted, it's gonna have a couple of extra steps. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the APK that's linked in the tutorial in the description. So go ahead and download that. After you download it, go ahead and install it. I already have it downloaded on my device. So I'm going to open up a file explorer and then go to my downloads folder and download and um, install the Z-Launcher actually. Let's go ahead and hit the APK, install it, give it a second to install. And then once it's finished, go ahead and hit done. Okay, so if you're not rooted, you're all set, you're going to have to just open it up and you'll be ready to change your launcher. But if you are rooted, we're going to have to install root code from Exposed in order to trick the app into thinking that you're not rooted. So go ahead and open up Exposed. Go to the download section and then download root cloak. Go to versions, hit download, and after it's finished downloading, Go ahead and hit install. All right, after it's finished installing, just go ahead and hit the notification up top to reboot your phone. All right, now that you're rebooted, go ahead and open up Root Cloak and then tap the um, Add Remove Apps and then hit the plus icon up top and then scroll all the way down to Z Launcher and add it to the list. So now when you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the Z Launcher icon there. Then go back so you're all set. And I could set the default launcher to Z Launcher as well. So go to your settings, go to personalize, home screen, and select Z Launcher. Now, when you press the home button, you'll be brought to the Z Launcher instead of the Sense Launcher. Okay, so this is the basic layout of Z Launcher. It has a clock and calendar widget up top, along with your most contacted contacts and used apps. Now that list is going to change depending on the time of day, where you're at, and how often you use apps as you keep using Z Launcher. Um, it also comes with the regular app drawer, base, basically has all your apps here in alphabetical order, along with the dock. Um, you can't really add widgets or anything yet, because this is still a pre-beta version of it, but there is plans to add that in the future. Now what's really cool about it is that you could use it completely with one hand, because in order to search your phone, all you have to do is start um, drawing letters on your home screen. So if you just see if I want to look for Clash of Clans, I could just put C L, and then you could go ahead and tap Clash of Clans, and that'll open up right away. Um, it also works with contacts, and if you keep um, um, drawing letters, you could even start searching Google and stuff like that. So you never have to open up a different app. You just do it all from the home screen with just your thumb. So that pretty much covers it. Um, Keep in mind this is a pre-beta, so there are going to be some bugs here and there, but from what I've used it so far, it's been pretty smooth sailing. Be sure to keep coming back to get updates on this one. I'm pretty sure they're going to be coming out with new updates every once in a while, so you're going to want to stay up on those. And other than that, click check out the full guide and it's linked in the description. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.